So last week we went over cleaning out your computer. A lot of people do neglect cleaning their computers out and it's a very helpful tool, but one of the most common things that people neglect cleaning is screens, whether that's your monitor, your laptop screen, your TV. Uh, most people don't actually take the time to clean them and with laptops especially, since a lot of people eat in front of their laptops and do a lot with them and usually end up touching the screen quite a bit, they can get pretty grimy. What's up everyone, Kadek here, and today we're gonna go over how to clean your laptop screen or your monitor or your TV. They all use the same principle. All you're gonna need is something to dust with. It could be a duster or a microfiber cloth. You'll need another microfiber cloth uh, for the wet part, and then a cup of water. Now, I'll talk about this a bit more later, but you can use tap water, you can use uh, distilled, um, water as well. If your tap water has a lot of residue, use distilled water. It makes it a little bit easier and it'll clean a little bit better. If you, if the water does not clean well enough, you can do a 50-50 vinegar water mix. Again, I'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, just a little cup. Cleaning it only takes a couple minutes. It's very easy and you should be doing it on a regular basis. So let's just hop right into it. Okay. So as our first example, we have my sister's laptop. As you can see, it is not the cleanest. Lots of fingerprints and stuff on there. So first off, we're gonna try with just water. Um, you can usually get most of it off with water. And if you can't, then you can mix some water with some vinegar, usually a 50-50. If your tap water leaves a lot of residue, which you know some municipalities do, then use distilled water. My tap water is usually pretty good, so I'm gonna use that. First off, I'm gonna dust the screen. So you can either use a duster or you can use a microfiber cloth and just kind of get a lot of the surface stuff off just so that we're not rubbing that. And don't put too much pressure when you're wiping it. So even if you're using the microfiber cloth, don't put a lot of pressure on, just kind of let it glide across the surface. Now, if we're gonna go ahead and use our water, we're just gonna dip it in our cup here. And then what I usually like to do is I'll take the cloth and I'll fold it over the wet spot and I'll kind of give it a little squeeze. And that usually helps make it a little less, little less intense on in terms of how much water is there. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give the screen a good cleaning here. You don't want your cloth to be soaking wet, you just want it to be damp. So give this a good wipe. And now we can go with a dry side of the cloth and wipe off the water. And as you can see, that is significantly cleaner. There are some streaks there. So we could take our dry cloth and give it more wipes. If you want, use an entirely dry cloth instead of one that had the water on it. And that'll help reduce the amount of smudging. Again, don't put any pressure, just nice light strokes here. And significantly cleaner. All right, and now we do a monitor. So this is just one of my work monitors here. And same kind of principle. We're gonna take our duster. We're gonna get a lot of that surface stuff off as much as we can. Dust the top off too, why not? We'll take our wet microfiber. And I'm gonna get the same kind of area and dip it in our water. Again, you want it to be damp, not soaking. So that's why I usually fold it over itself and kind of give it a squeeze. And start giving it a quick clean here. And 
Now again, you'll be surprised on how much you can get off with just the water and a microfiber cloth. You may have to go over some sections a little bit more than others, but um, just, again, don't put pressure, but if you just keep on going back and forth, the microfiber cloth will do a lot of that work for you. Get into the corners. And unfortunately, this isn't gonna fix scratches or anything. So if you have any scratches in your display, those aren't gonna help. But um, now that we've got it all, for the most part, I think it's pretty clean. Take our dry cloth. Give it a good wipe. And now that we've got it dry, we can see a few spots that we could probably do a better job cleaning. So now, And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if this is something I'll be able to get off or not. Again, I'm not gonna do any of the vinegar and water because a lot of these small things don't matter too much, but if you do have something significant on your screen, I would highly suggest uh, doing the 50-50. And now the monitor is significantly cleaner than it was before. The nice thing about monitors is a lot of the times you're only gonna notice this stuff when the monitor is completely off. So as long as it's, it's relatively clean and pretty clean, you're not gonna notice it while you're using it. But if you're you know, picky about your things being clean, this is the best way to do it. And that's it. Again, cleaning your screens is super easy. And as I mentioned, this applies I know I only showed a laptop and a monitor, but you could use this on TVs, you can use this on tablets, you can use this on your GPS. Um, because we're only using water, and if you need to, a little bit of vinegar, it is a very safe thing to do. You're not gonna dis destroy your display. Um, I would highly suggest you don't use any kind of cleaning products because you don't know how those are gonna react with the screen, um, the plastic, the glass, or what have you. Now, if you have a glass item, like a phone or um, OLED TVs, you can usually use some kind of chemical, but again, if you could just do it with water, that's the best way to do it. And then if you wanna get a, a better clean, look at the product page for your product. They'll usually have some kind of cleaning instructions and they'll tell you what you're able to use and what you're not able to use. But if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the section below. I try to answer them all as quick as I can, and I do really love helping you guys out. As always, I stream on Twitch from Friday until Tuesday. Come check me out and say hello. Love to see you there, and if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask me live while I'm streaming. Thanks again for watching to the end of the video. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next Friday with more cleaning tips.